Hello, and welcome to Dan Foss Interactive Service Training Course on FC Automation Drive. I am Mr. VLT, and I will be your guide for this course. I hope you will have fun with me while you learn. The purpose of this course is to provide technical information and detailed instructions that will aid qualified technicians like you to identify faults and perform repairs on the FC automation drive quickly and effectively. If the applications is a lift or hoist applications or other human dangerous applications, contact the local plant responsibles before activating the frequency converter. Please be careful about this and contact plant responsible before start up after repair. Before starting your work, it is important to have a knowledge on the tools required for the purpose. Let us now take a look at the tools required to troubleshoot and repair units. They are True RMS Digital Multimeter Clamp-on Ammeter Oscilloscope Flathead Screwdrivers Phillips Screwdrivers Turks Drivers T10 T20 and 5 mm Allen key torque wrench ranging from 0.5 newton meter to 4 newton meter before going in detail it is good for you to have a knowledge on the mechanical enclosure types and sizes take a look at the chart it shows the sizes of mechanical enclosures for the various frequency converter automation drive here the classification is done in accordance with Enclosure type, height, width, depth, and power in kilowatt. This training session basically deals with the B-type enclosures. All Danfoss VLT frequency converters can be programmed via a keypad on the front or a LCP cable connected to the frequency converter. All data are displayed in a graphical LCD display. The display is divided into three sections, top, middle, and bottom. The control keys in FC Automation Drive are divided into four main functions or modes. They are Status Quick Menu Main menu. Alarm log. These modes, available under the display, can be chosen by pressing the relevant push button. Let me explain each of them. The status mode is a read only mode where different readings from the application and frequency converter can be seen. You can choose between three different readouts by pressing the status key. They are five line readouts, four line readouts, smart logic controller. Next comes the quick menu mode. In this mode, you will be able to quickly access a selection of the most use parameters. The different options available in the quick menu are My personal menu Quick setup Changes made Loggings Motor setup You can make your own personal quick menu or use the preset one. You can also select a list of changes made or show a set of loggings. You can get back to the quick menu from any point inside the parameter by pressing the main menu button twice. The main menu is the mode where you can program all the parameters. In the main menu mode, 
The top section shows the status. The middle and bottom sections show two lines called parameter and data lines. When you press the main menu key, a readout, as shown appears, on the display. You can select the wanted parameter cell by navigating with the four arrows. The alarm log mode displays an alarm list of the five latest alarms numbered A0 to A4. To obtain additional details about an alarm, use the arrow keys to maneuver to the alarm number and press OK. Next comes the arrow keys. They are used for maneuvering between commands and within parameters. The back button takes you to the previous step or layer. The cancel button annuls your last change or command as long as the display has not been changed. And the info button supplies information about a command, parameter, or function. OK button can be used for choosing a parameter marked by the cursor and for confirming the change of a parameter. There are a set of LEDs here. The green LED indicates if the control section is working. The yellow LED indicates a warning. The flashing red LED indicates an alarm. There are various methods of local control like hand on, off, auto on, reset. The hand on button is used to start an application once the connections are made. The off button is used for stopping the connected motor, enhance the application. The auto on button controls the frequency converter through the control terminals or serial communication. The reset button is used to reset the frequency converter after an alarm trip. There are some situations where we have to disconnect the main supply apart from reset. 